this is the Okoe Community Church. It's uh, affiliated with Disciples of Christ uh, and <clears throat> is quite old, 1891, I believe. And what makes it uh, exceptionally interesting is that it's all wood construction and it is uh, believed to be the <clears throat> oldest uh, building in continuous use and I underline continuous use in the southeastern United States. Uh, they still hold a religious service at this building every Sunday. It really, may, it really is an impressive building uh, as you can see wood paneling, uh, very interesting round windows in this uh, entryway and then the stained glass windows and look at the arches there there's not a nail in the place it's all wooden peg uh, assembled when it was originally built there were no electric lights they were gas lights beautiful uh, carpentry work excellent There was a tour going on at this time showing the uh, interior of the of the church and up uh, here by the altar behind it There we are. Some very elaborate stained glass windows that were made in Belgium. They brought that to the church on an ox cart, if you can believe that. Amazing what uh, what transportation was like at the time. The church itself is built in the shape of a cross with the two arms going off to either side in front of the uh, the altar area. They were uh, two Sunday school rooms back in the day. That's the uh, rope for ringing the bell up in the belfry. Now, my guide is going to uh, give us a look at the uh, bell, but didn't quite get that. I, I saw that uh, look. There's a website uh, that is related to this church. I haven't found it yet. It is listed in Wikipedia. There is a memorial plaque there testifying to its continuous use since uh, 1891. Okoe is uh, directly west of the city of Orlando, between Orlando and Winter Garden, and it's in the downtown area on Blueford Avenue. Very interesting church, and to have survived as an all wooden structure is uh, really amazing.